I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Panarium. This is a masochistic platformer sort of deal. A review copy was provided by the developer, Parker. Every time. I love the map here. I actually knew of this game a while ago because I follow the artist uh, Thomas Snoppers on uh, Twitter. So let's go ahead to the campaign. There's also an arcade mode that I've been recommended. I'll take a look at the arcade once we get some of the story under our belt here. Once there was a kid who was loved only by his father. His name was Willie. Willie worked the land of his father's farm all day long. The work was tough and boring. Poor Willie longed for adventure. One day, while Willie was working the edge of the farm, Burger. a circus caravan Get rode down. down. As if it was destiny, a tall, mysterious figure appeared and promised Willie extraordinary adventure. Sure, this will end well. Willie was mesmerized by the spectacle. Go he ahead. felt an uncontrollable urge to take part in it. The tall figure directed him towards an empty wagon. Willie jumped on board, expecting to see the show of his life. He would only be gone for a day. The caravan rode for hours, and when it finally stopped, Willie was thrown onto the circus floor. The tall figure stood over him and welcomed him to Panarium, the sadistic circus extravaganza. Dun dun dun. See, yes, we're Willy. We're gonna die a lot. So it's one of those games where all you have to do is survive, and the game of course makes that difficult. Pretty sure if you fall on the bottom you die. Hooray! Parky. So yes, this is the core of the game. You smash barrels. In arcade mode, you have to collect coins from the barrels, but I guess that's not a thing, at least not yet. In story mode. And every so many barrels, the trap changes up. So, does anyone else use a DualShock 4 controller on uh, Windows 10? Apparently it causes some issues with, uh, exclusive mode, and I'm trying- there's a new forced exclusive mode workaround that, uh, DS4 Windows has that seems to be working- uh-oh. Oh. No. We can swim. Okay. I see. Movement in water is really, like, really tiny short jumps. It's not very pleasant. Alright, there we go. So, oh. What is that? Hey! Okay, um... What's it talking about? See, I think I have it... Stupid... Burn... Um... So it seems to be working. But, uh... I tried this input mapper, which is... A, some people tell me it's like... A later version of DualShock 4 Windows, but it's missing some features DS4 Windows has, so it doesn't really seem like a straight upgrade. And it just won't go to exclusive mode. So I guess I'm back to DS4 Windows, and that's not a huge problem for me, but uh... I don't know. Everything just seems kind of hacky at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why Windows 10 decided to screw up whatever trick that uh... DS4 Windows uses. Oop, dragon! Hello. Nothing too rough so far. Uh oh. Okay. Bye, dragon! 
You're not so tough. Ugh. Ingredients, cauldron. Alright, so we're mixing up the objectives here. I see. Whoop. Dang it, Parker. Please stop that. Whoop. Oh, they break when they hit the ground. Great. Can only carry one, I assume. Let's try that. Well, can't try now. Let's test that out. Yep, only one. Oh, that was very close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. No. All right, we're almost done. It was dangerous. We almost died there wants. Lotion? Don't boil him alive. I like that skipping text does Tim bouncing and hitting his head on the ceiling. Alright, what's the deal now? This good? Oh, I gotta stay in the spotlight. Alright, nice mix of objectives. Hey! What's going on here? No! Oh, it just slows me down. That's not too bad. It's obviously supposed to trap us with those spinny things. Uh oh. What you got now? Icicles in the bottom. Oh god. I didn't notice that at first. Alright. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. Oh. Let's not get killed the moment we finish saying that. Right. Tip on the buttons. Buttons. Huh? That would be the big laser. I like that it shows the- it indicates the screen wrap so you don't forget. Log. I was never a huge fan of these puzzles. I'm not particularly bad at them, but I just hate that they start off so slow. I forget what the last one is. Aw, oh, come on, don't make me redo this whole thing. This is why I don't like these puzzles. Ugh.
Oh, whoa. Ugh. All right. I'm not sure I really like this trap combined with this puzzle, because it just kind of forces me to only activate one switch per cycle. And it's not particularly difficult, it's just time limiting. Alright. Please don't give me that challenge again. Alright. Balloons! Blood balloons! Oops. See, this is a better ordered challenge. So I can just go through it at my own pace. Huh? Okay, they don't... They don't pop if you do them in the wrong order, so... I thought it might, like, fail you or something. That's easier. Oh, right. I... See, I knew I would eventually forget that the screen wraps when it's important. Like I just did there and died. Okay. So don't forget the screen wraps. Alright. Not too bad now. Ah! I did it again! No! No you don't. Fool me three times. Shame on you. Oh crap. Parker! Oh, come on, there were so few left. All right. Can't wait until the second floor is renovated and I can like actually keep Parker behind a door that he can't open. I can keep him in the bedroom, but he can open the uh, French doors. So... I was wondering when they'd switch up the, uh, the, um, layout here. Not too rough so far. And I played a little bit of the arcade mode earlier. It's basically similar stuff, except, whoops. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all random. And uh, you just have to break barrels, and it does the same five. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you noticed, but Willie fell to his death in the intermission there. Uh, so. So you go around, you change traps every five barrels, but you have to collect the coins they drop. And so that can sometimes create some extra tension. But uh, it's basically just a big survival fest. Ugh, I don't like exiting water. It feels weird. So I guess I don't particularly need to show it to you. You can probably imagine what's pretty much pretty much what you do in it. It's not too different from story mode, it's just you know, all random. And I wasn't really sure if the difficulty increased over time or just, you know, everything was all random. Whoop. Yeah, not really a huge fan of this particular trap. Especially not alone. It's really just a plain old waiting game. Yoink. 
It's only fun in those tense moments where you can, like, just barely grab a thing, but that's not always the case. Ah, the chicken! The chicken is definitely an effective annoyance. Come here. I think I consider the chicken- whoa! A much more effective threat. Because the chicken forces you to move, the, um, the jaws force you to not move. Arena completed. What did we unlock here? Ah, we've got multiple areas, I see. After Willy's first performance, he found himself locked up in his wagon once again. The excitement of the show faded quickly as he sat down and thought about his father in the farm. He missed his father, who surely had no idea where his only child could be. As tears started flowing from poor Willie's eyes, the director suddenly appeared. He told Willie it was time to move on. A bigger crowd awaited. Alright, World 2 time. I like the little buckets of people up at the top there. I guess they're all around too, but uh, they got some pretty nice seats, don't they? Let's see, I figure I'll show a few more. Oop. Levels of this. I think you pretty much get the idea. See, these mix up traps could be maybe fun with the jaws, but uh. Oh! There we go. Walk off the edge on this one. <clears throat> Oops. Woo! That was way too close. Oh, I thought that was the icicle machine at first. This one's a bit more dangerous. Chicken! Now see, the chicken and the jaws could potentially be a good combo. Probably not. Balloons! Yay! See, this is Panarium. And we'll finish what? Oh, crap. We'll finish this one up and call it an episode. Keep forgetting the sides. I'm just playing not good at these things. Oh, dang it! Keep falling for the exact same trick. It's embarrassing. Oh crap! Oof. Dragon's Den sounds fun, so we'll, we'll do one more. Ah. Let's try being actually careful for once. Ooh. Oh wow. 
was not expecting that. Double dragons! It's Bimmy and Jimmy. Aw, oh, crap. We got beaten by Bimmy. The area of NES translations is just fascinating, because they're just like... How could anyone that even knew English as a second language, like, make half of the mistakes that end up being made? Like, it's just weird. And like, all it would have taken is one, like... One guy that speaks English natively to look over the translator script and be like, Nah, that's... Incredibly not... ah. can't be bested by the dragons, I'm sorry. Dragons are chumps. Oops. You hear that dragon? Freaking chumps. Get out of here. Honestly, not sure I survived that, but whatever. Not complaining. We survived the dragons! Yay! More potions. Anything super interesting? Not pretty much stuff we've already seen. Alright, so that is Panarium. As always, oops. There will be a link in the description. It's on Steam. Oh, I forgot. Almost forgot to mention. This is one of um, Team Seventeen, the uh, Worms guys' uh, publishing efforts. Sort of out of nowhere, they became a publishing label a couple like a year or so ago, I think. And their output's been all right. Not wasn't really expecting them to be a publisher, but uh, hey. They do sort of the uh, indie publisher thing. It's also multiplayer, not entirely sure how that works. Don't have anybody to test that out with. Oh, you scroll. Um, oh yeah, not too many settings. Basically full screen, music, yes, no. Um, pretty good language options. But uh, that's about all we got there. But yeah, that is Panarium.